Do you need a quick and inexpensive table for your dollhouse or for your next miniature display or for any doll's display for that matter? Join me for Trash to Treasure Thursday and see how easy it is to make a simple table. Alright, so this trash to treasure I've been meaning to do for quite a while and I happened to be eating the yogurt this morning and thought, oh, it's time to do this one. We are going to make a table. This will be a covered table. You can use it in a lot of mini scenes and if you have a bigger container, you can make for a bigger scale doll. Just scale the sizes up. Since this has an indentation here, the first thing we need to do is we need to glue. I cut just a piece of heavy paper. I think this may actually be a it's either a scrap of cardstock or a scrap of maybe a piece of photo paper that I had done some printies on. I don't remember, but whatever. And we are going to just glue that on, just so it covers up that that divot. Now. I cut a piece of fabric. Be careful if you've got a print, like this is a really, really tiny gingham, and if you've got a really light color, you might find it beneficial to paint the container with a white, maybe a spray primer or just a quick coat of white craft paint. I'm not going to worry too much about it because this is probably just going to be for the demo here, and that's about it, but you just want to cut a circle that will go across and just reach to the other side. Now we're not going to glue the top, we're actually gluing down here. The other thing we need other than the glue are some clamps, some skinny clamps. What I like for this, these are just cheap little hair clips and I got a huge package of them at the dollar store and they work really well for stuff like this. I've got eight of them there because we are going to, let's make sure I'm in the middle, approximately. We are going to glue this around and then we'll come back and do in between each of those. So the first thing we need to do is decide where our first glue is going to be. Just kind of glue the rim there. Bring your fabric up and this will hang. It will kind of pull on the floor around the edge. And that's kind of the look I want. It can be clipped off even with the um, container when we're all done if that's how you want it to look. Now we're going to go straight across. We're mentally going to divide our cup, make sure I'm under camera, into first in half, and then we're going to go halfway in between those. And I'm just getting a bit of glue there on the edge, on the rim. You don't have to be exact. This is supposed to be a fun project. But this could be a Barbie size with a bigger container. It could even be, if you can find a container big enough for an American Girl doll, you could do a cute table for your American Girl doll. Or for any doll in between. Just look for a container the right height and width for what you want. A yogurt container makes a nice little, just a little table. It's not huge. You see I'm going halfway in between. Oops, let's see if I can not roll the glue around and knock things down. And I'm trying to keep the fabric fairly even in between. Now, and that one's trying to tip. And I'm going to see my yogurt container a bit, but that's okay for this. Now I'm going to go in between, approximately halfway between those two clips. I've got wet wipes since I got glue where I didn't want it. Now, halfway. 
and clip. And I like to use the bottom side of the clip against the fabric simply because it's skinnier. Uh, you can do it either way, whatever way works for you. You could also use a regular bobby pin. Clothes pins would be a little fat. I think they'd work for this part and they'd work for a bigger scale. But for our next round, clothes pins would be a little bit big, I think. You might be able to get away with them. But whatever scale you're doing, you're going to do the same. You're just going to divide it into this many spaces. We've got eight this time around. When this glue gets dry, then I will come back and we'll do in between. Oops, going this way. All right, so that glue needs to dry. And when it's dry, I'll be back. And we'll go to the next one. All right, so our first round of glue has had some time to set up. It, mm, it's probably not completely dry, but it's probably dry enough to move on. I'm going to unclip. And now we are going to put a drop of glue in between each of these spots. And we're going to do basically the same thing. That was not very even. I want to kind of get this even though. That's better. One. And I'll probably just. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I don't think I need to show you each and every spot here, but try and keep your fabric straight and, you know, looking nice. The more time you take with this, these steps, the better this will look, but this is just a really quick way to do a table. So I'm going to continue around, and when this is dry, I'll be back and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so we're going to see if this is dry enough to do anything with. I'm going to unclip. And the more time you take in your, you know, gluing these down and making sure they're straight, the nicer your table will look. Mine are a little crooked because I was kind of hurrying. I wanted to get the video done. But there you go. And you can just trim it. I'm going to trim mine even with the bottom, which I don't think I've got scissors in here I can do that with. So you'll see that in the final picture. But there you go. A quick and easy table made from a yogurt container and some, a small scrap of fabric. I hope you enjoyed today's Trash to Treasure project. Be sure and check the blog post, find us on Facebook, and come again next week and see what fun things we make.